Hey my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and here is our second video using this week's acrylic colour of the week from Gems Nail Systems, that fabulous fun time Frankie. So to see the inspiration for this design and how I've created it, please keep watching. So changing it up a little bit with this video, I am working on Tanny, my second Elena hand for this design. I have pushed my base nails in at the cuticle and I am using the Gems Clear Stiletto Tips for this design. Um, I decided to go for the clear instead of the natural because uh, I knew on at least one of the nails I wanted to have a little bit of a clear see-through finish which you wouldn't get with the natural. Um, so I'm going to apply the tips in this video. I don't normally do that but I thought I'd do something a little bit different. So I do like to pull the base nails out a little bit further because this way I avoid getting any glue on the actual hands. I measure up the tips, making sure they fit side wall to side wall. Uh, I already have a pretty good idea of which tips fit which um, finger on these hands, but I do always double check just to make sure a stray tip hasn't ended up in the wrong slot of the box. Uh, and then I just apply a little touch of the glue, I stick it down, and then I do press in at the side walls to make sure it is fully stuck, uh, which you saw me do. So here you can see I'm just uh, measuring up just to double check I've got the right size. Little dot of glue, you can't see me doing, I'm off camera. And then we're just gonna push it down, give it a good stick, and then really press and pinch it in. Lid on the box straight away, otherwise tips everywhere. I've learnt that the hard way. And so don't do what I do. Always keep the box right on your table and um, put that lid back on. The glue's all dried, so I'm gonna push these nails uh, back in fully. Um, I will do, won't do that until the glue is dried. Otherwise, again, you're gonna get it stuck to the hand. Don't want that. And I don't wanna keep these at this stiletto length. I wanna go for more of a sort of tapered square ballerina style. So I've got my tip cutter and I ordered these little magnets from Sheen. Uh, I've seen people do this. It helps get the same length across the board. So I measured up using the magnets, adding a few, taking away a few until I got the length I was happy with. And then I'm just going to slide my tip cutter in and cut the ends off. Uh, make sure I hold the bit I'm cutting away, otherwise it flies across the room. And then getting into the products I'm gonna use. Here she is, the fabulous Frankie. I love this glitter mix. And then I am using Eve, our blackest of black acrylics and Angel White, our whitest of white acrylics. And of course, I'm never gonna do an acrylic set without crystal clear acrylic. And the first thing that we're gonna do is go in with crystal and do our thin clear base. Now you're probably wanting, oh, why black and white? That's a bit weird. Well, Frankie is the gorgeous glitter acrylic I shared. Uh, she has got lots of neon triangles, matte triangles in her of all different colors. But there is also black and white. And sometimes I love to do a, sort of a monochrome design, but add a little pop of color. And I thought because you've got the black and white triangles, Let's go for a black and white design where the rest of Frankie gives us that pop of colour. It's a little bit different, it's not for everyone, and to be honest, there are so many colours in Frankie, you could pick any one of those. Uh, but I wanted to go with the black and white, and I really loved how this set turned out. Um, I thought it was really fun. And also, because of the triangle shapes of the glitter, I wanted to take that inspiration to do a bit of colour blocking. One, I love doing a little bit of colour blocking and two, I thought it really, really worked for this particular glitter mix. So once crystal clear is all laid down on the nails, I'm gonna make a start of my colour blocks. So on the index finger, I am starting with angel white. Drain out, 
plenty of liquid before I lay it on the nail. If you don't, it is just going to flood and spread and go all over the place. We want that bead to be quite solid so we can shape it and get our color block in. So making sure I've got a nice neat cuticle, uh, but most of my time is spent on my block, my wall, my line of acrylic because um, I could go in and add a little bit more of the cuticle and tidy it up but I want to get that block just right because I don't want it to start setting too much that I can't trim it up and tidy it up uh, so you know there is a perfect time for doing that so that's why I focus on the line use the brush to really tidy it up making sure I've got height to it so that the next color has got something to push up to um, and then I'm just going to let it start to set. And when it's at that point, we're going to go in with the craft knife. You have seen me do this many, many times before, but it's not going to stop me saying, do not use a knife on a client if you are not confident. I'm working on a practice hand, so it's not quite so mm, because I'm not going to cut and cause blood. If I cut, it's going to be really frustrating, but it's not going to be quite as bad. But I've done this enough now that I would be confident using it on a client. If you're not, do like I did the work with the brush and then file to tidy up the line. Use some string, use some dental floss to trim away the excess. Only use the craft knife if you are 100% confident, comfortable. I'm doing exactly the same on the pinky, except I'm doing the first block of color with Eve. Now I would normally work Eve a little bit wetter so it's kind of going against everything I um, do to drain out liquid but I don't want Eve spreading everywhere and I'm not painting her on where I normally would I'm creating a block I'm not worrying about my apex at this point I will go back and I will add that with clear acrylic if I need to I just want to get that block of color in place so again my priority is that wall that line I'm using the brush, I'm patting the product down, I'm pulling it down the nail slightly, but I'm using the side of my brush to tidy up that wall. Um, I did work and make sure I got a nice neat cuticle, but again, if I wasn't happy with that, I could go and add a little bit more after I've trimmed away the excess. This is going to take a little bit longer to set, so while I wait, I'm starting a marble just on the tip of the ring finger. So marbling between the black and the white so just two little wet beads of each color and then bringing my brush to a bit of a point and just taking that through the color to create that beautiful marble effect going back to that block now and I'm trimming away the excess uh, this is going to straighten up that line make it nice and crisp so I don't have to file it but also my block of black was a little bit bigger than my block of white so this allowed me to even up the size it set a little bit more than I wanted it to just there so there's a little bit more work to trim it away uh, and there was some black on the nail but I can go in and buff that off file that off and then I'm moving back to my marble and I'm going to tidy that up and I'm going to add a little bit more where it had started to set I was able to press it down and not ruin the marble uh, and I loved how that sort of marbly line turned out so I've added a little bit more at the tip where it wasn't quite um, full coverage and then just a little touch more up here towards the cuticle. Uh, again, I'm only doing half the nail because on the other half we're going to do a Frankie. But I really liked this black and white marble. And one thing I was talking about in my live the other day is we're going to start doing Marble Monday. So I will give a little bit more information about that soon. Um, but basically we're going to see what colours work together in a marble. Moving back to my first colour block and I'm going in Frankie at the middle. This is going to be my biggest block on both of those colour block nails because Frankie is the focus of this design and I'm doing it so that my triangles sort of, so I've got almost three triangles. So where this slants in one direction, this is going to slant in the other direction. Not as easy to get a straight line with a glitter like this. It took a little bit more work, but we got there. So I'm just packing on the glitter, so full coverage. But again, we're going to, going to have to encapsulate, so I'm not building it up too high that I'm going to file any of the glitter away. Moving the, using 
not moving using the tip of the brush to move the glitter around and again i'm using the sort of the side of the brush and the tip just to straighten up that line i'm going to encapsulate that block before i trim away the excess and i will explain what i do but i'm gonna lay frankie down here i didn't worry about filing away the excess because i knew i was going to cover it with the acrylic and it, uh, with the glitter and it was so flat on the nail anyway it wasn't creating extra bulk so doing the same thing pushing right up and I want to try I was trying to get the straight edges of the triangle to butt up to that color so we got sort of it it was a seamless straight line but not the end of the world if you didn't and then even where that next line that next wall is going to be I tried to turn the triangles around so again you've got a flat line and not the points wasn't fully happy with this now so I've gone in with a little bit more Frankie that means I just need to leave it a little bit longer to set before I encapsulate and I'm only going to encapsulate it to the height of the white um, I'm not worrying about encapsulating it to the full thickness and that of the apex. At this point, I'm gonna do all of that at the end. While our glitter blocks set in place, I'm going to add Frankie on our ring finger. And this is sort of a marble ombre. So a small amount of Frankie at the cuticle so I can get it nice and neat and tidy. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit more coming down the nail overlapping our ombre, uh, our marble, sorry, ever so slightly. I love the marble so I didn't want to cover too much of it so I sort of bought the triangles in Frankie just up to it overlapping ever so slightly moved it around a bit so it wasn't a straight line and then I tried to pull out some of the iridescent glitter in Frankie and bring that down on the marble a little bit further uh, and I really really liked that um, I'm just going to move the triangles around a little bit because it was a little bit too uniform for my liking but again just trying to pick out more of the iridescent glitter. I was really happy with that nail so we're going to move back to our colour blocks and this is where we're going to encapsulate our little uh, Frankie block. We are focusing on that wall there so we're going to get the bead in place get it nice and straight and then I'm just pushing it back just to meet angel white, meet that block colour and then using the side of the brush to straighten up that line. Now I went in a little way so you can see some of the glitter is poking out past where I've done our clear acrylic. This is so I will get a nice block of colour and there will be no clear gaps in there which will ruin our nice sharp straight lines and I'm doing exactly the same on the pinky. Now I do come in with my craft knife to take away the excess on these two blocks uh, and obviously I've drained out liquid from the bead of clear acrylic but I also filed these lines as well because it just helped me get rid of some of that glitter that might have been poking out and really straighten up that line. So I'm coming in with my craft knife, trimming away to straighten up that line. You see I'm pulling some of the glitter away as well, but only where it really, it was sort of sticking out from under our clear acrylic uh, and not so that it was gonna leave any gaps. Uh, I wanted full coverage with this glitter. Whereas, you know, sometimes I will fade it out so you can see through it. I didn't want that in this block. I wanted it to be jam packed full of Frankie. So we're just getting rid of all those last little bits, uh, but it doesn't have to be spot on perfect this time because we're still going to file. Uh, I think my pinky needed a little bit longer to set, so I'm starting on the ring finger and I'm doing full coverage of Frankie, a full nail. So again, starting at the cuticle so I can get that nice and neat. Um, not too much but nice neat cuticle shape it's not easy to get with triangles so it's a little bit more pushing and prodding and poking and then we're just adding more of the frankie and feathering and pulling it down the nail and i was happy if there was a few gaps towards the tip so we've got sort of that glass see-through effect um 
but I still wanted Frankie right to the tip. It just wasn't quite so uh, compacted as it was towards the cuticle, if that makes sense. It's just slightly thinner, slightly less. Here you can see there are a few gaps in there. I must have trimmed away on the pinky and then off camera I just filed the line to really tidy it up and then I'm going in with Eve on the index finger and Angel on the pinky and I can just paint on with this block tidying up that line swooping down with a wet clean wet brush just to get rid of any that might have overlapped or sort of muddied up doesn't matter if you do overlap because we'll just file buff it away before we do any encapsulation but i wasn't worried about the thickness of this block because i'm going to encapsulate the entire nail at the end angel white on here so we're just going to push it up to that block of color and if there is any overlap we'll just clean it away there was a little bit too much acrylic here so there you can see i've really pushed it up with the tip of my brush i'm painting it down tidying up the side walls and then i will just swipe my brush over that block of frankie just to tidy it up see i took away some color and took away too much and there was that swipe clean it up and then i'm really happy with this design but we need to encapsulate these nails we don't need to encapsulate quite so much in parts of our color block but we want to make sure we've got the apex uh, we want to make sure everything is completely capped so we don't file any of the design away get the thickness get the structure and then once i'm happy with that i will go in with my katie barnes e-file and the e-file bits to uh, debulk um, to contour to the shape of the nail and then I will use the gems hand files to tidy up the side walls the free edge just refine over the surface of the nail to smooth it out and then this set will be ready to come back and add those final finishing touches which are Tina top so here they are all filed we've got that really nice tapered square shape back I am loving my monochrome color blocks um, and the touch of color we're getting from that Frankie mix I'm loving that marble that might be one of the best marbles I've ever done uh, I was I really loved how that one turned out so we're going to give them a really good wipe over I'm just using a lymph-free wipe and some cleanser get rid of any dust any fluff especially around the uh, cuticles any uh, oils from my nails that might have transferred onto these nails and then we're going in with the queen herself miss tina top and we are going to top coat all of these nails it's going to wake them up it's going to bring them back to life it's going to give them that super high shine finish that we know we're going to get from tina there was enough going on in this design that it did not need anything else and I appreciate this design might not be for everyone but I absolutely love this one it was so much fun to create with the I just love working with Frankie anyway uh, and I'm so glad I decided to go for that monochrome look with the black and the white and loved how my color blocks turned out as well can be hard when you're working with glitter to get a really nice sharp straight block of color but this one turned out pretty good in my eyes once we've finished top coating we will pop in the lamp for a 60 second cure and this set is all complete obviously if you were working on an actual human being you would want to use your cuticle oil at this point but um tammy here she does not need it so we are done and um, I love Frankie, I love this design, it is so much fun and as I said you could pick out any of the colours from that glitter and do this design with those, you don't just have to use the black and white uh, but I, I love this one and I really hope you guys do too. So Frankie is still on offer for just £5 but 
come Monday morning, she will be back up to full price. So if you are liking the look of her and you wanna add her to your uh, acrylic collection, then now is the time to order her. But fear not, because if you are too late, or if you wanna get any of these other colors at the same time, you can use Helen 5 and that will get you 5% off full price products at gemsnailsystems.com. And I will link all the products I have used in this set in the description box, but they are all from Gems Nail Systems. That is my week of Frankie done. Now, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be, have video content next week. The final few jobs are being done in my nail room this week and next week. Uh, and so because of that, I'm not able to get in there as much as I would have liked. So there may not be any design videos for next week's color of the week, but if I manage to do some, I certainly will. But I do have some other videos that I can share anyway. Uh, but that is it for this week and Frankie's week in the spotlight. So do please give this video a thumbs up and please leave me any comments down below. Comments on this design or any video requests, any tutorial requests, sort of any requests. I would love to hear from you all. If you're new to my channel and like what you see, please click that subscribe button. Would love to have you join me here. Uh, but that is it for me today. Uh, do enjoy the rest of your weekend if you are watching this as I upload it. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Mwah.